back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get an ombre lip four different ways and they're all kind of fall related colors. I'm going to show you a red ombre lip, a pink ombre lip, a nude ombre lip, and a purple ombre lip. This video is actually going to be a collab with one of my very, very good friends. Her name is Lizzie. You probably all know all about her already. She's What Would Lizzie Do here on YouTube and I'm telling you guys, if I was to recommend anyone to you to watch here on YouTube, it would be this girl. She is absolutely amazing. If you go and check out any of her videos, Chances are I have probably already seen it because I am so beyond obsessed with her. She does a little bit of everything. She does reviews, tutorials, get ready with me, open boxes, anything under the sun. She's freaking hysterical. I'm telling you guys, you will just have such a good time watching her. And above all that, she just has such a kind heart. She's a very, very special girl. There are not too many other girls out there like her. And Lizzie, you already know how much I love you. So it would mean the world to me if you guys could check her out and let her know that I sent you. So anyway, we were texting and we were like, okay, what are we going to do? We didn't really want to do another, you know, get ready with me fall or Thanksgiving tutorial. I mean, don't get me wrong. Those will be coming up. But we just wanted to do something a little bit more fun and I have to totally give her the credit for this video. She came up with the whole ombre lip. This is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I was playing around and I did come up with four, com four or five. No, four combinations that I really did like. So I'm going to show you guys those looks now. Let me know which one you like best. And yeah, if you want to see how I rock an ombre lip, then just keep on watching. Okay, guys, so let's do this. Let's get started. First, I'm going to remove what I have on my lips now. And I'm using this microfiber towel thing. And I'm going to be using in between everything this Egyptian Magic Moisturizer because hopefully this is going to help get everything off in between. And make sure that you really have moisturized lips. Get Exfoliate them, get all that dead skin off. And to be honest with you guys, I just started up my acne.org regimen again and my skin is like extra, extra dry and flaky, including my lips. So not the best timing, I have to say. Okay, so the first one is a nude lip. So I'm going to be going in with my Milani Nude Lip Liner. I'm going to line the outer perimeter of my lips and then fade it in a little bit, but not all the way. This is looking very chola-licious, so I'm going to be going in with my NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Stockholm, and I'm going to go right over that and I'm going to fade it in towards the center. Next, I'm going to be going in with this OCC Lip Tar in the shade Cha Cha. Every time I use this, I make the hugest mess ever, so I'm taking like literally a tiny little dot, I'm going to put this right in the center of my lips. Let me not talk when I try to do this. Alright, and then last but not least for the nude lip, I'm going to be going in with this Rimmel Show Off Lip Lacquer. It's the nude one. It's really, really nude. And I'm just going to put this in the center. Okay guys, and there is the nude ombre lip. It is definitely the most subtle ombre. I do think this is wearable. I would go outside with this and you can see that it really makes your lips look a lot juicier and plumper. So I am feeling that. And yeah, that is the first option, a nude ombre lip. Number two is the pink ombre lip. So I'm gonna jump in, same like with the last one, with the lip liner, and this is another Milani one in the shade Fuchsia. Same thing, I'm going to line the outside of my lips and fade it in. And you can see that I'm lining a little bit more towards the corners. You want that to be a little bit darker than the rest of your lips. So next, I'm going to be going in with this Jordana Twist and Shine Tropical Frenzy Lip Balm. And I'm going to go over that line and again, fade it in towards the center. And then I'm going to go in with Snob by MAC and dab that right in the middle. So there we have look number two, a very bright, in-your-face Barbie pink ombre lip. Okay, so the next lip is going to be a purple ombre lip, and you can see that that pink um, bomb stain 
stained my lips a good amount so I put a little bit of concealer over and a lot of you guys actually ask me why I never wear bright pink lips that's the one lip color that I stay away from because I don't know I feel like I look too like pageant girl Barbie I don't know what I'm trying to say I just don't like the way that I look in bright pink lips I love it on other people but on myself bright pink lips are like the one thing that I feel like I can't do so when I do want bold lips I definitely go for purple or burgundy or red so these are getting into the colors that I really like so the first one or the third one yeah the third one is going to be a purple ombre lip and I'm going to start off by using this um, pencil liner by Lancome and it's in the shade Mauvel absolutely gorgeous I use this all the time just as a lipstick or an all-over color really really pretty so I'm gonna line the outside perimeter of my lips Then I'm gonna go over that with Milani's Violet Vault, which is a gorgeous bright purple color. Look how pretty that is, love it. And then this center color, I'm gonna do a little bit more subtly. This is Perpetual Peony by Maybelline. I actually love this lipstick formula. It's like their Superstay 14 hour lipstick. I'm just going to dab this in the middle, but I'm not gonna bring it out as far. So this is the matte version. I normally would go with a more matte shade when I'm wearing such bold colors, but if you love shine, I'm going to go over with this Revlon lip gloss in the shade Lilac Pastel, and it's a straight up pastel purple. So there is the purple ombre lip. So last but not least, I'm going to be doing the deep red wine one and I'm doing this one last because it's the one that I'm going to leave on because it's my favorite. So I'm going to start off the same way as the last one with the same lip liner. Again, it's Mauvel by Lancome. Then I'm going to go in with my most favorite shade of red ever and this is Ruby Woo by MAC. Then I'm gonna go over again with that same lip liner, darken it up and fade it in a little bit more. And here's a little trick that you can do with just about any ombre lip color. I'm gonna take a stick concealer. This one is by, who are you by? Jordana Cosmetics in the shade Light. I'm just gonna dab this in the center and fade it out. And there you have a subtle ombre red lip. Make sure to let me know which one was your favorite down below. So those are all of the ombre lips that I'm gonna be showing you guys today. Let me know which one was your favorite. It's a really fun way to wear your lipstick. It makes them look a lot bolder and more plush and juicy and delicious. So let me know if any of you guys are gonna be rocking an ombre lip anytime soon. And that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I hope to see you guys all again very soon. Bye.